So laptop bags. I've gathered quite the collection over time through Amazon. Uh, this first one is the one I've been using for about six months for my Cozier. It's a gray one, has a very sleek design. It's good enough for a 15 inch laptop. It was okay. A company sent this one a year ago. It's, uh, it's called Nutsack, believe it or not. And this one is actually fairly small. Doesn't really fit much inside. You can't even fit a laptop, but it's a nice bag. It's well made. Not a fan of it. And this one is the more recent one that I picked up from Amazon. It's the Cool Bell one. It's fairly big. It fits up to a 17 inch laptop, I think. It's got a bunch of pockets, sleek design. Again, gray. I love the color gray, but I just wasn't feeling it. But in this video, we're gonna be looking at something that quite possibly might be my new favorite laptop bag. With water resistance, a 16,000 milliamp hour battery, and a solid build, the NRG Messenger separates itself from a lot on the market. But am I willing to pay $120 for it? Stick around till the end to find out. The outside of the bag is made out of polyester and although it's not as soft as cloth, it's a necessity if it's gonna come in contact with liquid. There's this leather-like plastic on the handles and the front zipper pocket. I would say overall it has a simple design. Also on the front, we have a power switch and an indicator. One click will turn the battery pack on and it will start showing the remaining battery level. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we have a way to turn the battery off from here. So instead, we have to unplug all the connected devices. But on the plus side, it does turn off by itself after 12 seconds. So no worries about it if you do forget. So under the indicator is the micro USB port that's used to charge the battery pack. It's protected by this rubber seal that shields itself against liquids. We get a single large zipper pocket on the back. The zippers are made of metal and glide smoothly, so I'm not too worried about them breaking off. Inside the bag, we'll find some extras. We got a padded strap for hands-free transport, as well as two micro USB cables. There isn't much padding on the strap though, which at the bag's price point is kind of a letdown. All four pockets are lined with a very similar polyester material found on the outside. It's not going to be as soft as fabric, but it does kind of make sense here with the water resistance and improved durability. To protect your devices, there's a soft gelatin type foam that adds a little shock absorption in here. In total, there's 8.5 liters of space in this thing. And to put that number into perspective, I fit a 15 inch gaming laptop in here, which is the max size supported. We also got a smaller Chromebook, a tablet, mouse, my wallet, and a lot of extras in here with still room to share. The smaller pockets definitely help with organizing things like batteries and SIM ejection tools. It's definitely made with plenty of storage and compartments for organization. The best part is you can even charge up to three things at once with the included battery pack. We get two USB ports running at one and two amps respectively, as well as a DC out that can be used with the DC to micro USB cable included. The front USB and micro USB headers are routed through the bag's built-in USB pass-throughs, all the way to the battery. You can even use these to route your own cables to devices not in the battery pocket, which was pretty cool. With a retail price of $120, it's hard to recommend this product. You can find a similarly sized laptop bag for around 40 bucks. Just add a 16,000 milliamp hour battery pack for only 15 bucks, and you can jerry-rig yourself something very similar to the Ghost Tech for about half the price. But it is on sale for $100. I'll drop a link to it below in case you guys wanna check it out. Personally, for me, it is a bit overkill because it's got three slots for laptops. I don't carry that many things with me in the first place, but it is better than the other three laptop bags that I currently have. So I will be using it as my main driver. Can you even say main driver on laptop bags? But that will be my main laptop bag, obviously, as I travel to events like CES or even vacation. Um, I love the build design. The built-in power bank is really nice. Ghost Tech did an amazing job on building this laptop bag. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.